Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today we're going to talk about the essential keyboard shortcuts for working with motion graphics. Okay, so we're going to go through all of the top shortcuts that I use when I'm working with motion graphics, but you can also download a printout of them in the description below if you want to refer to them later. So let's jump into it. I'm going to start with the graphics workspace and to switch over to that, the shortcut is Option Shift 7 or Alt Shift 7. And now we're in a workspace that's better suited to working with graphics. And probably the shortcut that I use the most out of all of these is the ability to nudge objects one pixel at a time. And the shortcut for that is the command or control key and the arrow keys. So if I select a layer in my program monitor here, I can now move this around one pixel at a time. You might not be able to see that very well on your screen because it is only one pixel. But if you wanted to move more than that, then that's where the next shortcut comes in handy, which is just adding shift to that combo. Combination. So now with the layer selected shift command and the arrow keys is going to move that around five pixels at a time. Next up, let's have a look at some of the options that we can use for working with the style of our text. And the first one is font size. So you can increase the font size by using the shortcut option command left and right or control alt left and right. You just need to make sure you have the layer selected and then you can adjust the font size. And just like before, adding shift will make us move five pixels at a time. You can adjust your font size five pixels at a time using the same method. After the font size, we also have the text leading. So the leading is the space in between the lines and the shortcut for that is option or alt. So using that shortcut, we can adjust one unit at a time. If we add shift to that, we're now moving five units at a time. And then the last one when we're styling our text is working with alignment. So if you want your text to be left aligned, then the shortcut for that is shift command L or control shift L. If you want your text to be center aligned, then it's shift command C or control shift C. And finally, if you want your text right aligned, then the shortcut for that is shift command R or control shift R. And of course here, when we're talking about alignment, we're not talking about alignment within the frame. We're talking about alignment of the text. So then let's have a look at adding layers as well. Now this one here, duplicate layer is a really interesting one because I actually couldn't find this anywhere. It's not listed in Premiere's keyboard shortcuts. It's not listed in any Adobe documentation. And the first time that I needed to duplicate a layer inside of the essential graphics panel, I figured that all I'd have to do is hold down the option or alt key and then drag this around. But all that does is move the layer. So I actually took a guess at this and it turned out to be right. And that is shift command forward slash or shift control forward slash. You just need to have your layer selected and then you can duplicate it. So now I've got two versions of that layer. And then we have the opposite of that. This one was a little bit easier to figure out to delete a layer is of course just to press delete. You need to select the layer in essential graphics and then you can delete it. And then for adding a new layer, we have a few different varieties of that. So to add a new text layer, the shortcut for that is Command or Control T. And if you do this while you have a graphic selected in your timeline, it's going to add a new layer to that graphic. But if you don't have any graphic selected and you use that shortcut, it's going to add a new graphic and add a new text layer to that. Now, in addition to text, we also have the ability to add a new rectangle layer. And the shortcut for that is Option Command R or Control Alt R. And then the shortcut for adding a new ellipse layer is Option Command or Control Alt E. Now let's have a quick look at editing text in our graphics. So if you have a text layer selected in your essential graphics, the shortcut to make this editable is Option Command Apostrophe or Control Alt Apostrophe. That will select the entire text layer so that you can now edit inside it. Or another way of doing this is to just switch over to the type tool and the shortcut for that is T. So if at the moment I have the selection tool selected, I can just press T to switch over to the type tool and that's going to allow me to click any text box and immediately start editing inside of it. And then finally, let's have a look at some shortcuts for guides and rulers inside of Premiere Pro. And one of the great things that Adobe has done here is they've brought over a lot of the shortcuts from Photoshop for guides and rulers. So if we wanted to show our rulers in the program monitor here, the shortcut for that is Command R. Now you need to make sure that you have your program monitor selected for this and all these other shortcuts here. So Command or Control R will show rulers. And then if you're working with guides in your sequence, the shortcut for that is Command or Control semicolon. And that shortcut is a toggle so you can turn guides off or on with that key. And then finally, we have the ability to snap objects to guides and any other layer within the program monitor. And the shortcut key for that is shift command or control shift semicolon. And with that enabled, I can select an object and just snap it to anything within the frame. 
And that is it. They're the essential keyboard shortcuts for working with graphics inside of Premiere Pro. I hope you found this useful. I hope these speed things up next time you're working with your graphics. And if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.